Predator Freeland, thank you for a $5 super chat. I got an Emacs ready to fly kit, the one that you did a video on recently. Can I improve my signal antennas? Are the goggles diversity? If it matters, the drone has a linear antenna. Predator, um, so to get better range out of that, I do think it would be worth putting better antennas on. And my personal opinion is that it is always good to have circular antennas on your goggles. So here is, what, let's generalize that question. How does antenna polarity work and why do I think it's always a good idea to have circular antennas on your goggles? So antenna polarization is a spectrum from left-hand polarized through linear to right-hand polarized. Okay, first of all, people think that antenna polarization is left, right, or linear. It's not. It's actually a spectrum. And there's a parameter called the axial ratio, which measures the degree of polarization left, right, left to right uh, through linear. So when we say we have a left-hand polarized antenna, what we mean it is that it has been designed to be strongly left-hand polarized. But depending on the design of the antenna, some may be more left-hand and some may be less left-hand polarized than the others. Regardless, let's simplify this, though and say that antennas are either 100% left, 100% right, or linear polarized. With left and right hand polarization, the advantage is that the polarization of the signal does not depend on the orientation of the antenna. So uh, if you think about uh, a, a, like a, a stick pointing straight up and down, okay? And you rotate that 90 degrees, okay? And imagine a signal coming out of that oriented in the plane of that stick, okay? So the signal is coming out straight towards you. And that signal can be up or down, or if we rotate it, the signal can be left and right. That's, that's a linear antenna. That's an analogy for a linear antenna. And if you imagine... Another one, voicing straight up and down. If those two antennas are not aligned correctly, the signal coming from the one will not get picked up by the other. Okay, that's how linear antennas work. When you have two linear antennas, they need to be in the same orientation, literally the same orientation. The worst case scenario was when they're 90 degrees out of phase. Best case scenario is either zero or 180 degrees in phase is the same. But with circular polarized antennas, the polarization of the signal does not depend on the orientation of the antenna. So you can have two left-hand polarized antennas and you can rotate and pivot them any which way and the polarization will always match. They've baked the polarization of the antenna into the design of the antenna and it is independent of the position or the orientation of the antenna. So this is one of the reasons why circular polarized antennas are very useful on multirotors because multirotors are constantly changing orientation. And if you have a linear antenna on a multirotor, as it rotates its orientation, you could get in, let's imagine that you have a, a linear antenna on your goggles facing straight up and a linear antenna on your quad facing straight up and they're perfectly aligned. And then you bank over. Now they're misaligned. And as it rotates, you're going you're gonna to get big uh, dips in signal strength depending on the relative orientation of the antennas. Now Shady asks, isn't the worst case pointing at each other end to end? Shady, you're thinking about the antenna's propagation pattern. That is a separate thing from the antenna's polarization. Polarization and propagation. Propagation is where it puts the energy, okay? Polarization is, in, in the case of a linear antenna, polarization relates to the orientation of the antenna. And so does the propagation pattern, where it puts, which direction it puts the energy. But they're two separate things. And one of the things that complicates talking about polarization is that people don't distinguish between polarization and the propagation pattern of the antenna. Okay, so the question is, 
what happens when you combine a linear antenna with a circular polarized antenna? So what ends up happening is that you get a small amount of loss, maybe about 3 dB of loss for those who know dB, but that amount of loss is constant and independent of the orientation of the antenna. When you have two linear antennas, when they're lined up perfectly, you get like zero dB of loss. And when they're misaligned by 90 degrees, you can get as much as maybe 15 dB of loss, maybe more. It's pretty significant. And so as the quad is rotating, the amount of loss is going way up and way down. Whereas if you have a circular antenna on your goggles and a linear antenna on your quad, you always get a small amount of loss, but it's always the same small amount of loss. And that is why I always think it's a good idea to run a circular antenna on your goggles, even if you have a tiny whoop with a linear antenna on the quad. Now it's better to have a circular antenna on the quad. Then you don't get a small amount of loss. But even if you have a linear antenna on the quad, I would rather have a consistent signal with a small amount of loss than a signal that sometimes is really good and sometimes is really bad and just sort of goes all over the place.